We have begun meditating with our bodies and we've learned to get in touch with our breath. And in this sitting, we'll expand the field of mindful awareness to include feelings and emotions. We'll begin by stabilizing our attention with our body and our breath. And from there, we'll move into an invitation to include feelings in this space of mindful awareness. And we're going to explore the often underlying emotional tones and also how they in turn relate to how we feel in our bodies. So as we move into these type of practices, we will also be reminding ourselves of the importance of what we've referred to as the second wing of the mindfulness bird which is the attitude of loving acceptance. So begin by finding your seated position. Your posture reflecting a state of wakefulness and relaxation. And notice your body breathing. Notice the breath flowing in and out. Shift your attention to any part of your body that you can feel extra clear in this moment. Maybe parts of your body where you carry some tension. On an out breath, invite the opportunity to let go of unnecessary tension and allow yourself to relax into the seat. And then finding your concentration by focusing on the breath, wherever you can feel the breath most clearly. Noticing any physical sensation relating to the breath in the lungs or abdomen or nostrils. And notice also the waves of different experiences around the breath, such as the physical sensations or thoughts coming and going, sounds in the room. Whatever these waves might be, they will most likely catch your attention sooner or later. And as they do, just recognize them and eventually return back to your focus on your breath. Perhaps for yourself, counting each breath. And whenever you get distracted and come back to the breath, you can start over. One. Two. Three. So the next time you find yourself caught up in some experience, open up to feelings. See if there's any feeling tone present in your experience in this moment. Maybe you can notice feelings with some granularity and maybe you can note them as they come up. 
frustration, excitement, restlessness, sad, stressed, calm. So whatever feelings are present for you right now, ground yourself in your body. And just note each feeling as it comes. And maybe you can feel the emotions in your body. You may be able to discover a lot of feelings coming up, one being replaced by another, and you may be able to feel them very clearly and precisely. But sometimes we notice it's not so easy. Sometimes we feel more empty or disconnected or simply blank. If that's the case, try to stay open. Maybe you can feel the underlying emotional state, whether it's positive or negative, or neutral. Maybe there are thoughts and storylines surrounding the feeling states. Once again, it doesn't really matter what the feelings are, but see if you can invite them in with the kind attention that we've been training, noting each feeling or emotion, investigating, And then eventually returning back to the breath once more and wait for the next wave of feeling that you can catch, so to speak, that you can investigate with mindfulness. If you find feelings somehow inaccessible at this moment, you may find it helpful to bring about a memory. Memory of a situation that happened, let's say in the last few weeks, that brought about positive emotions and joyful feelings for you. And as you remember the situation, you may feel the feelings that are associated with the memory.
maybe the positive emotions and how that feels in your body. So experiment in this way with recalling memories as a way to make the feeling states more vivid and accessible. In a future session we will also focus on more difficult and negative emotions and how we can work with them. But for now, we will let go of any specific aim and just invite any type of feeling to come forward. Any feeling that is already present or that you may feel the need to allow. Just pay attention to the wave of emotions and feelings flowing through your body and through your awareness. Periodically coming back to the flow of the breath, staying for a few breaths and finding your center. And whenever you find yourself caught up in some wave of new experience, simply note what's going on and come back to the feelings or the underlying emotional tones that are present and start once again exploring your feeling life. So once again, see if it's possible to label or name the feelings that are present for you. Calmness, relaxation, loneliness, restlessness, boredom, Whatever feeling is there, see if you can make some room for the emotions and feelings to express themselves and pass away in their own time. Keeping in mind that whether they're pleasant or unpleasant emotions, welcome them equally. If you feel boredom, really become curious and explore and allow boredom to be present. What does it feel like? Keep the intention to welcome each new feeling, almost as welcoming a guest with a bow. We're just observing without holding on, without identifying. And we might notice that the harder we judge or push away a feeling, the stronger it comes back. So really try to Maintain a kind attention as you let the waves of feeling pass through. So please continue the practice on your own in silence, periodically 
returning back to the breath and staying for a while, and then exploring the realm of feelings, just alternating back and forth, remembering the balance between concentration and awareness on the one hand, and a kind attention and acceptance on the other. So we're practicing how to be with our feelings and emotions, how to make room for them, and how to meet them head on without shying away. We've learned how to, first of all, recognize our feelings and how to name them. As the saying goes, when naming the dragon, it gradually loses its control and grip over us. And the same goes for our feeling life. The more we can bring a sense of spaciousness and acceptance to our feelings, the freer we will become. We will be in a better position to respond wisely to circumstances in our lives and less likely to react instinctually or habitually or unconsciously.